And that's the point that a lot of men are making. Like a lot of these um, contingency plans that we're seeing women make going to the sperm bank and shit like that. Mm -hmm. It doesn't make sense because on the face, you're touting this idea that we don't need men. Mm. But the reality is women absolutely need men for survival. I agree. Listen, it's the message right here. Black boy, tell me how you really feel. Cause I just want to build with you. Black girl, tell me how you really feel. I want to keep it real with you. I want to live better, eat better. I want to love better, sleep better. Yeah, I want to feel so aligned. Sublime. Uh, what I'll say is this. Um, kind of like I mentioned earlier, it's, it's a... I think it really boils down to a value thing, like a value question. Because even you mentioning like, you know, where does the critique end, right? Mm -hmm. Like where, when, when, when are we good enough? Um, I think what you're describing is just a, the tip of the iceberg of masculinity. Mm -hmm. Back in the day, the complaint is that men were too macho. Mm -hmm. They didn't show enough emotion. They spent too much time at work, this, mm -hmm. this, and that. Nowadays, the complaint is men spend too much time uh, playing video games, men are too soft. They're not as hardworking. They don't so hands. like men in a lot of ways have made, have made peace, some peace with, we'll never be good enough for you. Even, even the popular narrative on TV and the media is there's some way he's, he's fallen short, but I'm just here. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Uh, even <laughs> you watch cartoons with like big family guy and shit like that. There's always the narrative of the, um, the idiot dude who got a, a, a wife who's way out of his league mentally and physically, mm -hmm. right? Like that is the prevailing narrative. And guys have had to kind of make peace with the fact that, you know, I'm quote unquote, not the prize. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm quote unquote, never going to be good enough for her. You'll hear dudes say she's my better half, shit like that, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Now on the flip side, <laughs> I can't even tell you to make a sandwich. Without being misogynistic. Oh my gosh, that's I can't, not true. I can't. No, no, no. I'm not saying me personally. I'm just saying these are these, no, these I are know the that things you that personally. yeah, these are the things men are saying. I can't even tell you I don't like that dress. I can't even like I can't tell you shit. Whether it's a romantic relationship, whether it's a platonic relationship, whether it's a family relationship, mm -hmm. and men are starting to realize, especially nowadays when there's now an abundance of options, mm -hmm. men are starting to realize that hold up, wait. This ain't the best I can be doing. I, I, I don't have to use my time and effort critiquing somebody who doesn't want to listen. I'm going to just take my... And that's where you see like the passport bros and shit like that. And a lot, of, a lot of the passport bros, they're not going to white women. They're going to black women just somewhere else. Yeah. Because the reality of it is the Cater to You song, <laughs> Beyonce, and, and you know... Her saying she gonna brush his hand, put his do rag on is like <laughs> monumental. Mm -hmm. In other countries, that's standard. Mm -hmm. And then on the flip side, what you have to do in in the West to keep a woman happy, doing that there is like making her dreams come true. Mm -hmm. Versus here, it's like you know you see the videos of oh you're not gonna pay for me and my eighteen friends, mm -hmm. right? You feel what I'm saying? So, it, we're, so not, like we're not we're not having an equitable conversation and. All black men are saying to our women is, you expect me to come into this um, with um, optimism, mm. with grace, and with... Um, Open-mindedness. Open-mindedness and the benefit of the doubt, right? <laughs> and I, I'm supposed to value and see value in you. Mm -hmm. Versus on the flip side, that's not reciprocated up for, for the... I would say even the majority of men, their experience, and not just in romance. I'm talking about just, you know what I'm saying, hotel clerk. I'm talking about grocery store. I'm talking about just every day. Their experience tends to kind of mirror some of our experiences with white people. We ain't shit until proven otherwise. So the operating premise is I'm waiting for this nigga to show me that he ain't shit. And we feel that energy. And even if it's in a relationship, even if it's, you know what I'm saying? You even walk her down the aisle. It's there's some way, shape or form that I'm falling short. Mm -hmm. And this is the first. And I think this is why it's hurting women's feelings so much. This is the first time men have had the opportunity to even gain the language to articulate that. Mm -hmm. 
Like, we've been feeling this for a long time, and we'll chop it up with our boys, but a lot of us didn't even have the language. We didn't even know what was going on. Mm. We just thought it was normal. Mm-hmm. Oh, she's just going to complain. It is what it is. It is. But then we're looking at it like, yo, I, I, I don't like this either. Yeah. So even like when, when you, you mentioned, you know, it's easier with the white man, for instance, and shit like that. And I'm not saying that with certainty. No, no, no. I'm no, saying listen. I could see possibly how no, it no, could be. No, no, no. That's absolutely true. No, no. Let, let's not beat around the bush. No, it is absolutely oh, yeah. true. It's easier to be with a white man. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Now, are you thinking about that in historical context? Right. Are you thinking about that from his perspective? And right. why, why, why is it that he has an affinity for an abrasive woman who's more domineering and more, you know what I'm saying? Like there's a reason why compared to black men, he might be an easier. And then the part, and we're talking about Eve, the part that's even the most infuriating for me, especially when I think about young boys, is you spend so much time touting a certain archetype of black man, the soldier, mm. the, the Tupac, the nigga ready to pop off this, this, and that. And then when boys follow your lead, because young, young boys are led by their, their, their penises, when they follow your lead and become that and ruin their lives, end up in a jail cell or end up in the ground, oh, now, <laughs> man, ain't after being a shitty mother to, to a boy, after being a shitty, you know what I'm saying, uh, uh, um, you know, carrot for young boys. Now you run to this effeminate white man whose personality you've you've run over in black men. You, you Serena Williams ain't marrying a black version of uh, Ohania, whatever his yeah. name is. Eve ain't marrying a black version of the, the whatever white dude she's with. So, so that 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 is the part that is so infuriating. And you'll see, for instance, black men. Um, they'll, they'll marry like a fat white girl or some shit like that. I think what it should tell black women is that, yo, men are willing, RIP Kevin, he said this, men are willing to go down in looks to go up in cooperation. Mm. And our women are spending so much time, energy and effort just trying to look the part. You, you want to be the bad, baddest bitches on the planet, but (laughs) How sustainable is that long term if you are looking for long term companionship? And nobody's really thinking about that. Yeah. Are people really looking for long term companionship? I think <laughs> I think that whole roommate shit we're hearing some women say they want now. I, I think it sounds good on paper. Mm-hmm. But uh, I've observed women in groups for a long period of time, it's not sustainable. You're saying they want two separate rooms? Is that what you mean? No, 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 like I'm talking about the cattiness. Oh, okay. I'm talking like the women now, some women are saying we don't need men, we're just gonna, you know, get an apartment together and shit like that. And and it's like, it sounds good in theory, but even you saw a a video go viral recently of one girl who wanted to fight her her female friend because she, her, her boyfriend came over. That's jealousy. Yeah, that's not, yeah. But I'm saying like female nature is, there is some cattiness. Yeah, but that's very unnatural as well. I don't think so. Like, I don't think having a roommate that you, a a woman, like, especially when you have- Oh, you mean the roommate piece? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's very unnatural. But they're using it as an alternative to having to change themselves to be able to be in, in partnership with a man. I think that that, I agree 100%. Um, and I think we talked about this a little bit. That's where I think that we will be going. You will see a lot more of that. And I don't think it's black, white, whatever. Um, um, obviously, there's a lot, there's a sector of women who don't want to commit relationships. They don't want to get married. There literally are older women that are telling young women, don't get married. It's not worth it, this and that. Don't have kids. Go live your life, this and that. And the roommate thing, it's going to be, um, uh, uh, they're going to find a way to capitalize off of that. I think it's going to be a big moneymaker for this country, but it is very unnatural. I mean, especially if you're like in childbearing years between like 27 and 32 from like a, from a primal perspective, what are you going to share, share resources in this house together? Especially if there's a man that, which even sounds crazy too. So you're a roommate, but you're inviting your boyfriend over. 
Like what? That don't even make no sense. But and that's the point that a lot of men are making. Like a lot of these um, contingency plans that we're seeing women make going to the sperm bank and shit like that. Mm-hmm. It doesn't make sense because on the face you're touting this idea that we don't need men. Mm. But the reality is women absolutely need men for survival. I agree. And it was clearer back in the day when your husband was also your mechanic and he was also your accountant and all kinds of shit. Mm-hmm. And now you feel like, you know what I'm saying, you can go pay, pay for, for it. Those what happens during a hurricane? Right. Who's going to come rescue you? Who, who when 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 there's uh, you know, somebody outside your door, who do you want pulling up? Mhm. And it's like, you know, this girl power shit is cool, but like y'all have to start telling the truth as well. Mm. We're not built the same for the same shit. So unless, unless you want to die on this hill that men have no value and anything you could do, I could do better. And you know what I'm saying? Girl power, this, this, and that. Now, if that's the case, cool and do that. But this double speak of, I want to be a strong, independent woman, but I also want you to pay on the first date and treat me like a lady and shit like that. Like pick one. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. I agree. 